so this is a really interesting property. It was bomb damaged. The external wall would have been the party wall with the neighbor property. That was pebble dash. The whole building was pebble dashed. The pebble dash was found to have cracks in it when it was purchased. And instead of just filling in those cracks, what's happened is the whole property has been re rendered, but cracks have reappeared. And this is the result of it. Okay, the issue is dampness, and you can see brown staining here, which indicates that water is coming through the wall. Slightly there, into that corner there. And then when we come into this room, it's it's less evident, but then that could be something to do with the the plaster because behind there. I mean, this looks more like condensation, actually. When you say this hasn't been touched, so this... As in, I haven't painted it, I haven't done anything to it. It's just Whereas been... this has been painted, oh, and, and with, with a stain block, probably. So. Yeah, I did put some... Um... So that's hiding the discoloration coming through. But but you've got, where you've got that, mm -hmm. that, that indicates that it's condensation because those are condensation dribble marks underneath them. Um, the particular sorry I had like a more that. So I use a damp meter to identify damp using radio waves. So the wall is is damp. Oh you can see it. Anything about above about 50% is normally considered damp. It's useful for anyone to have these meters there. Very inexpensive about 20 odd pounds uh, and it will help you know that the wall is drying out that all my treatments and recommendations work. When you've got a crack, even if it's a hairline crack, mm. it will absorb water in, in the way as a, a capillary. It's, it's the same capillary action. It, it, the, the thinner the, the crack, the greater the, the, the power of the pull. Uh, although obviously the thinner it is, the less water will come through, but you'll get that, 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 the effect of it being a capillary. And you can see it all the way up. And, and the fact that I'm seeing it at low level suggests it's probably even worse higher up. I mean, you can certainly see it. You can see it around there, around the windows. Uh, I'm going to guess up that. So it wasn't re really rendered above that, the roof line, basically, or yeah. the ceiling line, should yeah. I say. But it does, uh, it's just patched up. Yeah. I'll, I'll have a better look at that. But th these, some of these don't go the whole way through, mm. but I'd say there's a good chance that most of them do go the whole way through. I mean, the, the solution is relatively simple, but the problem is that it's an ongoing issue that will come back regularly. Uh, and really the, 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 the best way of dealing with it, in my opinion, is to, is to uh, insulate it. Okay. Um, the reason why is that you, it's, what you're getting is you're getting heat Mm. Um, expansion contraction in the summer. Right. Uh, the sun is presumably somewhere over there, so you're going to yeah, get the east is there. You get the south afternoon. Oh, so so this yeah. is south, is it? Okay, so you're on the south facing mm. side. So you you're getting that the extra um, heat during the day and contraction at night. So these can be these should be um, what's called raked raked out, which means that it it's made big enough to get a filler in and then use a cork filler to, to fill it. It's, um, it's a, I mean, I wouldn't say it would take somebody more than a, probably a couple of days to do it, but it's difficult to say exactly because you can see it all the way up. Yeah. One solution the builder said was redo the roof and give it a proper overhang, but I've actually just swapped No, I don't think that, that, that isn't okay. the problem. That's okay. The irony is I have the same type of dampness in my own property from a render crack that I fill up periodically, but it reappears. And, and as I say, I think it's better to fill it and then put in EWI, that's external wall insulation. There is a crack at the roof level, but actually it's fairly minor. Although the cracks are the primary source of moisture, they're being made worse by condensation inside. There's a hollow sound. 
just to add these areas that have been cut in are going to risk water pouring down the wall and then being absorbed deep inside there. I'm not seeing it on the inside but it doesn't mean that it isn't getting in and being held back perhaps from past damp proofing treatment on the inside. So this is immediately outside the cupboard. Uh, the worse the damp is further up which suggests that it's the the join between the render and the well the render at the top and this render that's causing a lot of the problems. So this is using a thermal imaging camera. It shows where there's heat loss. Often where there is a crack, it's causing the external brick to become damp and damp brick loses heat. So increases the risk of condensation. So it's not always penetrating so the whole way the through, sometimes the condensation. Mm -hmm. The loft seems fine, suggesting that actually the top of the wall, which, would ha which hadn't been rendered fully, uh, is is fine and that it's actually probably the the new render that's causing most of the problems yeah, let's try so this wall again using damp meter but this time on the ground level just to see how much dampness there is there and there is damp there um, it appears to be appears that the ground level has been damp proofed which is hiding the damp, it's not dealing with the damp. The, the, the damp is the render and it should be dealt with. Notice the condensation dribble marks and the mould. And this tells me that there's also a condensation problem. The rule for that is follow Dew's law. That is, keep the internal vapour levels as measured by dew point below the external temperature and you'll be fine. The bathroom extractor fan wasn't working. It was going fast, but it was turning off after the lights are switched off. There was no kitchen external ducting to the kitchen extractor fan. So in this property, the primary problem is the render made worse by internal condensation.